Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Raise a glass, you've made it another year. Happy birthday. Have a laugh, crack a smile, even shed a tear. Because it's your birthday. Pop the cork for the food. Welcome back to Wagging Tales Unleashed. Today we have a very special video because it's a special day. It's Zion and Obi's birthday. And we're gonna be making a birthday high protein doggy cake to celebrate eight years old. Yep, this cake is high protein. It's grain free. It's species appropriate because I'm a crunchy dog mom. So Zion and Obi's birthdays are just about two weeks apart. We're pretty sure and they both recently just turned eight. So today is birthday day celebration. My yep. two birthday boys okay. and we are going to celebrate their precious lives by making them a delicious birthday cake. They don't know it yet. You know, Obi's right there. He's a little sh camera shy, but <laughs> yeah. he's going to celebrate. He's excited. And so we're going to take you into the kitchen. There are some variations that you can do on this cake. And so there will be written instructions in the description box and anything else we mentioned in this video, including some of Zion and Obi's favorites will also be in the description linked box below and linked in the comments below. So check it out and let's get started. This super special birthday treat is a meatloaf cake with a yogurt frosting that I know your pup will love. It is nutrient dense and filled with ingredients that are great for your dog's health and wellness. This recipe also has variations and options, so remember that we will have a blog post in the description box below. I'm going to be using a loaf pan to make the cake today, but you can also use large muffin tins, a casserole dish, or a round cake pan to make this. Starting off, you will need two pounds of ground beef and two whole eggs. Simply crack your eggs into your ground beef and give everything a bit of a mix. After that, you will grate one peeled apple into your mixture, and then you will also grate one medium carrot. Carrots and apples add a little bit of sweetness to your meatloaf and are great nutritious add-ons to your pup's cake. Next, we need a binder for the meatloaf to hold everything together. I'm gonna to be using three tablespoons of beef gelatin. People will also use things like rice flour, but I try to keep as many grains out of their diet as possible. And I found that the beef gelatin works just fine. Then I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of turmeric powder. This is completely optional, but I like to add it for our dog's joint health. Give everything a nice mix with a spoon or your hands and make sure that all of the ingredients are distributed evenly. Once your meat looks like a loaf, line your pan with some parchment paper and then add your meat in and press everything down until the loaf seems solid. I'm going to flatten mine on the top as this is going to end up being the base for our cake. And then you're simply going to pop this in your oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how much you like the meat done for your dogs. I had mine in for 20 minutes and it came out just the way they like it. Now while that's baking, we're going to move on to our frosting. You're going to start with a half a cup of whole Greek yogurt. Add the yogurt to your bowl and then you're going to add a fourth a cup of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, just plain pumpkin puree. You're going to give that a little stir and then you want to add a thickening agent. I would recommend either tapioca starch or arrowroot and you want a half a cup. I ended up splitting it in half and I did a fourth a cup of arrowroot mixed with a fourth a cup of tapioca starch. This is gonna help your frosting have a thick structure like icing. Give that a bit of a preliminary stir and then you're gonna to wanna to add in your liquid. I would recommend doing regular milk, goat milk, kefir, or coconut milk. 
Basically, you're gonna be adding two to three teaspoons of your liquid. You wanna pour as you go, mix it up and see what the consistency is like, and then add a little bit more if you need it. You do not want your icing to be runny, and you also don't want it to be thick and chunky. You want it to be just right, nice and smooth, so that you can put it on your cake. Now this is completely optional, but we added some blueberry powder to the frosting. I like how it gives it the appearance of sprinkles, a little bit of color, and blueberries are fantastic for dogs, but again, it's completely optional. Give everything a really good stir, mix it all together, and once you have the consistency that you want, put your frosting into the fridge to set and thicken while waiting for your cake to cook and to cool. Oh boy. Sneak peek. A little taste preview. I wanted to add a crumble topping to this and you can do that by adding any dried ingredients to a blender and just coarse chopping it. I decided to do beef liver. You could do chicken heart, chicken liver, anything that you have that's dried, pop it into a blender, give it a little coarse chop and you have your crumble topping. After your meatloaf is done cooking, you want it to cool completely. You do not want to put frosting on a hot meatloaf or it's going to melt all over the place. So once it has completely cooled or even chilled in the refrigerator, then it's time to put on your frosting. I put my cake plate on my loaf pan and then I flipped the loaf pan over so that the meatloaf would just fall out and then the part that was in the bottom of the loaf pan is now the top of your cake. Peel off your parchment paper and then you are ready to put on your frosting. I simply smoothed on my icing and then I put the crumble topping on it. I drizzled a little bit more blueberry powder. You could do any type of berry powder or you could skip this step completely. I also wanted to add a little bit of blueberries on the top. You could do strawberries or a little bit of apple shavings would be cute as well, but this is completely up to you. And then I had to be extra, so I put the two candles because each of them turned eight, and I also had some happy birthday sunglasses for them. The video of them cracks me up so much because it shows their different personalities. Obi, the black and white dog, his entire life's ambition is to be <laughs> a good boy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> and then I just cut up the cake like you would any cake, and they have been waiting for this all day long. And that's it. Here's to many more years for your pup. Wait. Wait, we're gonna pray first. Wait. Thank you, God, for the food. Keep us healthy and give us another eight years. Amen. Okay. Amen. Good boys. We love you. Yum, yum. Thank you, God, for my babies. Eight years. Best cake anyone ever did make. That was quick. Oh, no. There's more cake. There's leftovers. So they oh, <laughs> cake leftovers. For breakfast. Cake for breakfast. Well, thank you so much for watching another Wagging Tails Unleashed video. Let us know in the comments below the names of your dogs and their age. Yeah, we wanna know who your furry friends are. And don't forget that we have the written version of this recipe in a link in the description box and pinned in the comments below. Okay, so as always, we hope that you all have a perfect, perfect day. day.